it's the king king j back with another video right i'm going to be talking about jun and her moves punishment and her heat engages so let's get into it i've got some notes here and i'm going to go up through them so with jun jun is a very annoying character i think jun is very very tricky she has some key moves so let's go over the key moves so down forward one two is pretty cool and if it get counter hit you could get one up forward one so you gotta be careful that that's pretty and it's like on block it's mid high as well so that you can you can duck so I'll even show you. So yeah, just be careful. But yeah, moving on. Back 2-2. Two, two. It's a good move, good mid check. And then let me check, take the dummy off uh, Crouch. And then there's 1-2-2. Two, two. And you cannot duck this gels. So let's have a look. The first two hits, gel. On count here, it gels. There we go. So one free is like a high low poke you know Mo like majority of characters have a high low poke to kind of end the round or something like that or just to kind of open you up and then on top of it we have side step two for for counter hits let's see what it does on counter hit so you get four two so again so side step one plus oh that's not what i meant to do so that's up two. Four, you can probably dash up and get forward. Four two. Do one more time. There we go for guaranteed. Then you got magic four. But you get four two again. And then you have one plus one plus two. But this is a heat engager. But we're gonna go over the heat engagers at the end. Down back two is a nice slow. Doesn't doesn't do anything apart from the toe grab on count it. But makes you um, plus 14. Down four. This on counter hit. Gets combo. If you down four four. Four four one plus two. It takes some of Jun's health though, so be careful about this move. And then you have down one plus two. And then you have four, two, one plus two, which is another heat engager. But we're gonna get into that in a, a little bit. So she has Ma Marie, Marie, which is uh, her stance, which is back one plus two. And then she has four, four, two back, and she can do it that way. And then she has. Let me see this one. Hold on. Ah, okay. So from this stance, press one. So let's see that. Let's see what it is on block. Cause that's, this looks pretty heavy on block. Of course, it's not heavy on block. <laughs> there we go. So this instant, uh, it does the instant tornado. So if we do this. And you, get, and you can get your combo. And then two is uh is a heat engager, but it's minus 20 on block. Let me just show you. So I don't know what you'd want to use. A safe one or this. A safe one would be from the stance one, which as I said, you can get in by doing back plus one plus two. So yeah, 
And then she has her next stance, which is called Genjutsu. So you could get, enter it by doing forward, forward 3 plus 4 or 4 forward 2 forward, right? So from this stance, you got 1, which is minus 13 on block, but it's got counter hit knockdown. And then you have 2, which is a power crush. And it's minus 13. You've got the high kick. Which is pretty cool. And then you have 2 plus 4, which is her second heat smash. But it's minus 14 on block. 2 plus 3, sorry. So let's do it. That is crazy. So I can mix you up with that. Or that. That is crazy. <laughs> this character is something else, boy. So Izumo is uh, up two or one, two, two. So it's that kind of like spinning starts like this. So from this, you can get one, one, which is a high, which is a mid high screw move. So let me, let me get back to the normal part of the stage. But yeah, as you, can, as you can tell, up to there we go, and it does it does tornado effect, and then one two. Let me do it again. So that's one one, one two. So that is a high mid, and that last hit is minus thirteen, right? So. Probably get four or two if they stay on the floor. And then from that start, she got two, which is a launcher. And then again, four two, which is the health sweep. Do it again. Four one. So you got pretty much a lot of tools to work with with this start. You can do one, 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 two. One, two, four, one. Right? And then from this, you got three. Which is the heat engager. And then you have four, one plus two, which is a safe track in mid. And then from this, you also have power crush as well. I don't know if you can. Let me see if you can. Yeah, I, I figured it would go. If you can side roll. Okay, fair enough. All right, cool. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get into the Punishers. And then I will talk about her heat engages. So the Punishers that she has is... Not that. It is up forward one. Which is cheap. Look at the 36 damage. But it takes health from her. But look at that. What? So yeah. So she has that. She has, she has other ones as well. One free, but it doesn't combo. And then she has twelve frame is two one, which is not great. Thirteen frame is one plus two, which is pretty cool. And then she has back four two. I'd prefer to go for this one. If I'm honest. If you get counter hit on the last hit. You get a launcher. And you can delay as well. Like that. It's a bit hard to, it's a bit hard to do, but yeah, you can do it. And then you've got also as well, back four, four back two two, sorry. So this is 14 frame. It's not really it's not really a great 14 frame if I'm honest. But it's there. And then you've got down back one, two, one, one. One, two. Hold on. Do that again. So just to see if that 
Let's do standing block afterwards. So that is 15 frames, right? It's very weird though, because 15 frames are usually like down for two, but down, uh, down for two is 16. I saw down. You could do down for two, one plus two, or you could do up forward four three, or back three. So it's entirely up to you. And then a 17 one is four, four two, the infamous. So now we're going to talk about wild standing punishment. So wild standing punishment is uh, first one is full full crouch. Full crouch one. And then while standing four is eleven. While standing one four is twelve. So you can mix you can do while standing one four two, but a two is not guaranteed to combo. And then while standing three is fourteen. And then while standing three plus four is is 18. So now she got her normal grabs, which is one plus three, two plus four. And then she has command grabs. So she has up forward one plus two, which is the one plus two break. She has down two plus three, which is the classic Kazama elbow smash. And then she has full crouch down back one plus two. So yeah, that is it for when it comes to Jun. So now we're going to talk about her heat engages. All right, so let's go for her heat engages. So one plus two, 13 frame mid, which I think is crazy, right? Then you have forward two, one plus two. Crazy. And then side step four. She has Ismo free. Oh, because I got I got it to set. Okay. Uh my bad. Sorry about that. So you got that move from Ismo and then she has Oh. Oh, because I'm in heat. Sorry, my bad. And this is from a uh, Mary stance. Now, when she's in heat, she got two heat smashes. So one is this one, and then when she's in heat again, let's do it again. I'm pretty sure. Let me just double check. I'm sure it's the Genjutsu. Yes. So Genjutsu is three plus four, three plus four. So yeah, she has a low, and then she has a mid one as well. You can mix up with stuff like that. Look at the damage. She's such a good character, man. But yeah, this is my Jun guide to get you started. Again, like I said, she has up forward two, four, three plus four stance, back one plus two. <clears throat> and she works on healing herself. So some stuff, like if I take if I take the health off. Um let me just see where I could take the health off. Uh, display. Nope. Practice. Okay. One second. All right, yeah, so as I was saying, so I was talking too close to my, she has a lot of moves that make her take her health. Like as you can see, you can clearly tell that takes her health. Even with that one. So, just be careful with this character, innit? She kind of like a double-edged kind of character. Like, she does damage, but then she also hurts herself in the process. We don't really have another character that's like that in this game. Maybe Yoshimitsu with, um, the, the, when he stabs himself, but that's about it. Like, this character... Like kind of that's that that's our whole game plan. It's basically doing damage, but then also taking damage, and she can also heal. So yeah, just be careful. But yeah, other than that, it's been your boy King J. This is the basic guide or beginner guide for Jun. 
Hope you lot enjoyed. Remember to subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section down below, and leave an emoji even if you don't want to leave a comment for engagements. Take it easy, everyone. Peace.